What's fueling you is hatred for the Jewish people, which is a satanic inspiration. Just like the spirit that Adolf Hitler was inhabited with, that wanted to exterminate the Jews off the face of the earth. You're saying free Palestine, but what you really mean in your heart is you want to kill all the Jews and you want to eradicate their land. And that's wicked. don't want to kill any Jews. So why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah. Whose land, whose land does that belong to, ethnically speaking? No, I'm having a conversation with her. Oh, I'd like to have a conversation. No, I'll talk to you. Okay, go ahead. Are you safe? I'm a Christian, yes. I'm the daughter of a pastor. I know I don't necessarily really look like it, but I think you're getting a little bit lost in the weeds here. What the Bible does tell us is to look at what's happening in front of us when we see wicked things happening. We have a moral even when things well it takes courage in order to do that and i know what you're trying to say can i pray with you uh, absolutely not so when you refer to wicked Father, things would that include homosexuality which oh, the bible says is an abomination what is that part of the yeah. wicked things that we need to call out again i think you're getting lost in the weeds heavenly father please help this man see you have a gay pride flag on your jacket which yes, the bible says is an abomination not only does the bible call that an abomination but you know you know what you know what you would do you know if he walked into palestine why don't you tell him because he's a little confused why don't you tell him what would happen to him if he walked into gaza with that gay pride patch on his jacket you know what muslims would do to you every single muslim country whether gaza palestine egypt syria Libya. No, they wouldn't give you dinner. You should go to the Middle East. You should buy a plane ticket and you should walk around and wave a gay pride flag around and see what happens to you. They would chop your head off. And, and here you're, here you're supporting. You're having solidarity with a group of people that wants to kill you. Go ahead. them an abomination i said homosexuality was an abomination that's a sin that he commits the sin that he's committing is an abomination you're not an abomination your sin that you're committing is an abomination just like you're not an abomination but you're following a religion that is an abomination to god i grew up in the church and i and i heard a lot of that kind of stuff love the sinner hate the sin i heard plenty of that growing up as i'm sure you can imagine in the like that in your heart that little seed of i cannot love all of you as god loves me as jesus loves me i am stuck in my own biases so that i am not able to see what is happening in front of me that is not what god that is not what jesus would do and we know that because what he did in the scriptures was fight for people that didn't even necessarily believe in him but they were people they were fishermen they were sex workers these people that you abominations were the first people these were the first disciples the first ministry that christ gave to was the people that these guys would kill first long before i have to worry about any muslim i have to worry about these guys and the problem when you come in here the so these police are not going to hurt you. Christians are not going to hurt you. The U.S. military is not going to hurt you. They're not a threat to you. Who's a threat to you is the government. Hamas is a threat to you. The government of Egypt is a threat to you. The government of Syria. They're in Palestine. You'll, you'll meet them real fast if you go visit there. Yeah, go ahead. So what are your specific beliefs surrounding all of the What is your belief? Because I don't feel like we can have a surrounding like Israel. I 
covenant that God gave that land to the Jews, to the Bani Israel, the Quran says. She wants to have a conversation. Let her talk. Why not? You're not going to learn if you I'm never engage with someone. I, I just wanted to say our piece. Okay, well, you, know, you can learn more if you, you engage more. I think we have I mean, who did I slam? Hamas is a terrorist organization. Why? Why? Hamas is a terrorist organization. They are terrorists as the Native Americans are terrorists. No, they're, they're a terrorist organization. If it's such a crime to colonize a land, why are you still here? This is where I was born. If I had anywhere else, if I had any family, you can go I anywhere else in the world. If you have an American passport, you can go anywhere. I don't, I don't have one. So you can apply for one. It's very but easy the to get point one. Is, is that I don't, if I so you're being a hypocrite. You're saying it's an abomination. It's I'm wicked for a nation to colonize another nation. But here is. you are reaping the fruits of their and labor. I'm many peace like treaties Palestine. to Palestine throughout the past 50 Palestine years. They, so, let me power. ask you, do you want a two-state solution? Are you okay with that? I think the best solution is one state with Palestinian Christians, Jews, and Palestinian Muslims who will protect the integrity of the Holy Land. It is okay, our That's Holy exactly land. what Israel wants to do, and it's not that's your Holy not Land. True. It's it not is, your it Holy Land. No, it's not. The, the Holy Land was initially given to the Jews. It was given to the nation of Israel, Bani Israel. Have you read the Quran? You know. It was given to Bani Israel. So why does the Palestinians, who are not mentioned in the Thou Quran, why are the Palestinians now when trying to take rightful ownership for that land? gathered them back and then he promised he would gather them back a second time okay, okay. but they don't have their messiah they do have their messiah his name is jesus christ i'll talk to you about him once we're finished no, with this conversation do not believe in jesus. Let's not make, but that doesn't make him not their, their messiah he, he is the jewish messiah and lots of jews do believe in oh. jesus there's a jew right there that believes That's in jesus christ as her messiah i'm sure of judaism no, and all kinds of sects have received jesus as their okay. messiah and some not have rejected well, there are some okay, who have received that's not it. True. That's the I was just saying that regardless of the fact that the land once belonged to people, right? And you're talking about colonialism, and I want to come back to that point as well and tie that into this. Because you're saying that it's natural, it happens that people colonize a certain land. Okay? So if the Palestinians were living on this land, let's say they stole it and they colonized it, okay? Let's go on that premise. If they did that, then Jewish people coming in to recolonize it, do you agree that the initial colonization I wouldn't necessarily say that it's wrong for a group of people to go and take over a land. Okay. That's not an inherently immoral thing in my opinion. Yeah. Is it in your opinion oh. wrong to do that? For a group of people to colonize a land, do you believe that's immoral well, under all circumstances? You have to do it by force, Okay, correct? yeah. So Usually, uh, force, well, I'm asking her. Do you think that's an ethical? Be reasonable. See how reasonable she is and not just shouting? I'm not shouting at Do you believe it's wrong? Okay. Do you believe it's wrong to colonize a land? I believe that it is not wrong to colonize the land if you do it in a certain way. In Islam, we have a certain accordance that we must follow when we are colonizing land. Colonization is in every religion. Every religion is supposed to fight for their religion. So I'm not going to say no to that. That would make me a hypocrite. So absolutely not. 
But what I can say, what I do think is ethical, is Israel is committing war crimes. They have been held possible for committing war crimes. Many international lawyers, this is not me, this is international lawyers, have said that there is a high probability of war crimes being committed or have straight up just said yes, they're committing war crimes. So for you to try to defend Israel and say, oh, they're doing the right thing, they're just colonizing land, it's not that. They haven't exerted their power over the people and are ruling and are, you know, taking up people that are not submissive. They're bombing an entire half of the Gaza Strip. They're killing hundreds of thousands of people. They're destroying homes. If we were going to colonize the land as Muslims, we're told to not, like, go and cut down every tree. We don't fight people that aren't fighting us. We're told, fight who fights you. And that is the only people we're allowed to fight. But when you look at Israel, they're not fighting who fights them. They're fighting the families of people. Whoa, whoa, hold on. How can you say they're, we only fight the people who fight us, but you're discussing the context of going into colonizing the land? If you're... If you're colonizing a land, you're going into a land and you're on the offensive, you're the aggressor. So that's not self-defense. That's a conquest. There's a principle of conquest in Islam. Like you said, you know this. There is a principle in Islam where you can go and conquer a land. So, so if you, do you think that it's wrong to bomb innocent people under any circumstances? So will you condemn what Hamas did uh, when they initially started this war? Will yep, you condemn that attack? They did not do it. Who did? They didn't do it. Um, I cannot condemn Hamas because that most of the Israeli um, deaths that occurred on October 7th were committed by Israeli Apache attack helicopters, I have a committed by Israeli tanks, I have committed by Israeli soldiers. They have admitted to this. There are tanks as well. Yeah, there are Israeli news channels that Israeli soldiers that have come out and said, we don't know who we killed. We killed everyone. Amen. We don't know who was in a house. We can't tell who was Hamas, who was not Hamas. Hamas did that intentionally, and Israel took the bait. Hamas's goal was to take hostages. Israel's goal was to not allow any hostages to leave. They made sure that as little hostages were taken as possible, and... Yeah. Hamas's goal was to take hostages. That's what you just said. I believe so that they, they don't, you don't think that they killed anybody? No, I didn't say I don't think they killed anybody. So I'm why sure won't you condemn their people. attack? They initially launched a terrorist attack on a group of innocent civilians. Why won't you condemn that? How is, how is an innocent civilian? When you are, and the Quran teaches, which is military failure, and the Quran teaches that you That's not what was going on. These That's were exactly a group of Israelis at a party. They were bombed. They were not holding AK-47s. No, that wasn't done that by the Israeli was done government. Done by That's the you're being lied to. There are, no, I that was done by Hamas. By Israelis. See, I'm we, telling we you, go, I have video. We can go back and forth on this because no, you're I getting... Have I don't you're, talk from my bus. Well, I you're just showing videos. me a video of a guy talking. A guy talking in... Yeah, it doesn't matter. A guy Israeli talking is not admitted. evidence. That's a guy no, no. giving his this opinion. Not You're not showing me any video evidence I'm of anything. Showing you Israeli Don't show me a video of a guy talking and saying this is proof that I, the Israeli bombed. I'm trying bombed. to show you that it was an Israeli news channel specifically that admitted that the beheaded baby, baby which by the way Biden cried on TV for, and said he saw it with his own eyes. And then We don't like Biden either, so praise lied. the Lord for that. But I want to know, he lied to the American people. President of the United States lied and said he saw these dead babies. Why lie against? Why lie and blame Hamas for something they didn't do? That's lie number one. Number two, the rape. I have a big issue with that because Muslims do not. We would never. You but, can't speak for every Muslim. But I'm just trying to say they are a Muslim, very guided towards the Quran, very spiritual Islamic group. Well, if you're, you can't say Muslims would. I mean, it, I don't like using the R word, but. You know, it depends what you mean by that. You could talk about Muhammad and all the sex slaves that he owned. Okay, and how about Rebecca? Could... What about her? Okay. What about Rebecca? I'm going to show you the video. A video of Rebecca? Video so here. Muhammad had a, a, he was a, he was a sexual deviant. In, 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 he had 12 wives and he had many sex slaves and concubines. None of that is true. On top of that, that is yeah. propaganda. It's in the Quran. That's not, no, it's not. Yeah, what mama lakat aymanukum. Do you know what that okay, means? What so you don't verse, know Arabic, you haven't read the Quran. What verse? Bring it up for you. But besides that, that's not, you can bring it up. 
أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ممنين your point. What I'm trying to say is they make up these stories about Hamas. They vilify them. They make them as cruel as possible. They're baby killers. They're rapists. They're this to justify the mess of 30,000 people, of 15,000 children, limbs blown off, no anesthesia, no anesthesia. They're taking their legs off. They're taking their arms off. They're four. They're five. They're two months. You're, oh, you're, you're defending Hamas. If you read, if you read the charter of Hamas, the organizational document, they have in their charter that they are bent on the destruction of Israel. Their goal is to wipe Israel off the face yes, of the planet. After they massacred their entire families, villages, and their children, is that why? Well, how else do you destroy an entire group of people? Why do they want to destroy them? against a against group of people that people. is being run by a terrorist organization. Uh -huh. May I ask you a question? We're run so by a terrorist earlier, organization in the United States. Earlier you said that when you were you're, you're, should You be should be ashamed of what you killed? just said. Should With all these bombed? police officers here out protecting us, defending your freedom to wave they, your flags they, they and to wave the gay pride idea. flag, defending my, defending my defending freedom to preach to you, I trust them. The yeah, police the police are out here defending your freedom, and they give you the right, and they give you the protection, so you don't have to worry about terrorists. Or, yeah, they would, of course, they defend yeah, the freedom of people so. of all Let's kinds of races. And here you are insulting these kill. police officers who are That's preserving okay. your life. You hate them, them. and you can insult them. Why don't you? Why don't you go to Hamas? Why don't you go up to a Hamas officer and tell him right to his face that he's a terrorist? And that he and that he doesn't care. Yeah, we we'll see what he'll do to you. You can you can walk up to these police officers and say anything you want to them, and all they will do is stand there and protect you. Why don't you try doing that in an Arabic country? Why don't you go to an officer in Egypt or Syria or Lebanon or Palestine and insult a askeri right to his face and tell him that he's a colonialist? And they see what he does to you. You have flag. no appreciation. You have absolutely you know no appreciation for a country head. that has given you That's more than idea. your ancestors could have possibly imagined. Uh -huh. Amen. No, let her talk. Through, uh, uh, 
different groups of nations deciding to get after the Jews were persecuted in World War II. They took them in. The they Bible says, the I will reach out my Jews. hand a second Don't time. Don't get it twisted. And, we took them in when all yeah, of Europe Muslims threw them out. Muslims Jews. All That's why Europe they've been trying to, them. to eradicate all them off the face of the earth for the past 70 years. And sick of their abuse. And you know what? The Muslims took them in and the Muslims protected the Jews. Nobody else protected have been the Jews killing Jews ever since Muhammad. formed by the United Nations. because they were exterminated by Hitler. So where can they go? There was there was a lot of nations. There was a lot of I'll tell you because Palestinians don't have to die. They can, they don't they don't have to die. They don't have to, die. They don't have to be killed. They can live at peace, but they hate Jews, so they're constantly attacking the Jews. Yeah, they do hate Jews. That's what Jews are. You can't say, I don't hate no, Jews, no, I hate Zionists, because that's the national identity of the that. Jewish don't people. Do You're saying, I don't hate Jews, but I hate Jews. Because you're causing anti-Semitism by blaming Jews for the massacre that Zionism is creating. That's wrong. The Jews don't believe in death. Jews believe in the law of Moses. They would not slaughter people. They believe thou shalt not kill. Jews would not support this. Okay, Zionism, who are atheists, support this. Zionists are not atheists, they're Jews. the deal to leave.
because there's there's rising anti-Semitism in Germany, and they can see that there is a problem looming on the horizon, and they were right, and so they wanted to protect the Jews and get them out of there. Based on what you're saying, I'm not really educated in this topic, but just based on what you're saying. Okay No, the Jews are not Stop. committing a holocaust. You can, yes, you can. When millions of people are slaughtered, that is causing a genocide. That is genocidal behavior. What you're saying is it's okay they took them from Germany, but them on a boat, got them rejected all over Europe, gave away through the Belfort Declaration, written by the British, which they had no right to give away, the Holy Land, gave away the Holy Land to the Jews. Please let me finish. Gave away the Holy Land to the Jews. What the Jews did overnight in 1948 was... Exaggeration. You're, you're exaggerating the facts of history. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you have a problem with Pakistan existing as a nation? Do you think that Pakistan should give all its land back to India? Because there were a lot of countries that were created after. Listen, the, the UN. Yeah, the, the UN. They did. So, 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 do you have a problem? Do you have a problem with those with those countries existing? following the holy book to the T, why don't you have a Bible as part of your holy scriptures? Why don't you read the Torah? Why don't you okay. read the Injil? Because if you, if what evidence do you have? That's not, so why did Muhammad, why did Muhammad put his right hand on the Torah and swear by it and say, I believe in you and who revealed you? Muhammad said that in the Hadith. The, the Quran says, if you're in doubt, in Judge by the Torah and by the gospel. So Muhammad tells the Jews and the Christians, because he's bringing this revelation, and he's telling them, if you don't believe the revelation I'm bringing to you, look in your Injil and look in your Torah, and you'll see that it prophesies about me. You'll see that what I'm bringing is consistent with the message that you have. So the Quran says, it also says, no one can change the words of God. So why don't you read the Bible? That's not what the Quran says. No, the Quran, at the time the Quran was revealed, the Torah and the Gospels are validated by the Quran. So are you saying that the Quran was, that the Bible, the Injil, which is the Gospel and the Torah, were corrupted after the time of Muhammad or before the time of Muhammad? The, these holy books have been corrupted. When were they corrupted? We have 25,000 ancient Greek manuscripts of the New Testament. You believe that all 20, that all 20, the okay. do you think, do you think that all 25,000 manuscripts are corrupted? And when were they corrupted? discrepancies you're right you have discrepancies between the Quran and between the Torah so why why which one came first the Torah came first so if the Quran is bringing the newer revelation we have to test it by the revelation that God has already sent and if we find discrepancies that's reason to disqualify the new revelation not the old revelation that's not true. it is true you have, to, you have to have a final copy of something perfect right you can't start off with well, you don't have perfect. a final copy of the Quran because the Qurans were all destroyed by us men that's not true he gathered all the Quran copies that were different from the one that he wanted and he burned them all. Christians never did that with their holy scriptures. Well, the truth is that Israel has been trying to live in peace with Palestine for over 50 years and Hamas won't have it. So why don't you leave? You can't. Okay, so why don't you leave? 
Okay, why don't you leave America then? You if you hate it so much, you hate these officers, you think they're terrorists? Like this. Because, you're because you're not being consistent, you're being a hypocrite. You're saying that they have to leave you because they're colonizing, right but you're a colonizer. A yeah, because you're being a hypocrite. You're saying colonizers I'm have to leave, but you're a colonizer. What, well, neither are the Jews that are, this happened 70 years ago. They're not active colonizers. Well, now why doesn't that apply to Israel then? It's not going to erase what not your ancestors did. That's I'm not going to matter. I'm not an active participant in it. There is a difference between being an active participant. Well, most like Jews are just trying to live no, in no, no, peace. No, no, they're 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 not every Jew is they're going they're around they're slaughtering. That's they're false. They're you think that every Jew is killing Muslims? No. You think that every single Jew is trying to kill innocent Muslims? saying is true we can we can just use a little common sense you can go to Israel you can go to Israel don't do that well, I'm giving people the microphone and allowing them to speak you can speak too well that, that's gonna that's gonna depend on, on the terms of the ceasefire it's not okay to kill anybody. No, I didn't say that. just any piece of land it's holy land so so yes the jews were formed in 1948 but that prophecy has a long history behind it that event was prophesied thousands of years ago in the book of isaiah the jews were expelled from the land when the babylonians came then they were gathered the first time under darius and then they were destroyed when the temple was destroyed in 70 a.d and there was an ancient prophecy in isaiah where God said, I will reach out a second time and gather them together. So because God is involved, we have a special circumstance. Why do you have a mic? That's a special circumstance. So because that land initially belongs to Bani Israel, we're having a conversation. Why don't you want to talk? She can learn and I can learn through dialogue. She wants to talk. She wants to learn. There's nothing wrong with that. She wants to learn. Yeah, she does. I just want to tell you that I think 
you're articulate, and if you genuinely want to learn more, I can give you my phone number. We can have a conversation in private, but I agree with everybody else. This is not the place. Yeah, I would rather talk to your wife. Like, but yeah, yeah, you're like very, I think you're like articulate. You know what you want to say, but like I said, I do think that it's slightly misguided. And I, I don't think that you have a full story. I think a lot of what you're saying is well-intended, protection for the Jews. I think we can all agree on that. And in this setup, we have to protect all Jews. So if the land was more violent, I appreciate your calm demeanor and how you're willing to have a conversation.